Josh Allen telling us last night he has a knack for the football. And he went to him there with a pickup that put him in field goal range. And you got one timeout. You can do anything you want. Davis got one on one at the bottom here. Alvin sees that one on one. He's going to him. It's Gabe Davis again for the touchdown. You called it one on one on the bottom. They're coming after him. That is Steve Spagnola. Had some success. Josh Allen brings everyone in to block and pick up the protection, and it gives him enough time to take on 23 on the outside. Williams, who we said with Fenton out. He was going to have a huge responsibility today. Jim, you called Davis on the side <laughs> again. Well, I don't know. You game. called it like three times on Davis. I, I figured if, if I could see it, then Josh Allen got to be able to see it. <laughs> we wouldn't have a Buffalo game without a Gabe Davis touchdown call or multiple touchdown calls. That's the thing. The Chiefs have done a good job taking away digs over the years, but not Davis. Extra point is good. How about that drive? What a complete reversal. It looked like the Chiefs had a chance to stop him, maybe score, get that second half kick. And they would have had a short field to work with after a punt had they stopped him on third and 13. Instead, they go the 98 yards they need after that third and 13 and get the touchdown to Davis. You see all the pressure inside. Davis has been the Chiefs kryptonite last year and this year. And right there, you see how huge Ken Dorsey well, he's, he's doing some remarkable job but visiting with Gabe Davis yesterday we told him some of the things that Josh had extolled about him he said he's the smartest wide receiver in the NFL.